Hello, uh, I'm Henry. Uh, my wife and I have been coming to Hope Church for about the last year now um, with our four kids. Um, you probably see us at the back kind of trying to handle them as, as best as we can. Um, but yeah, I'm here to talk about my experience swimming. I train for swimming. At the minute I'm kind of doing the, the over 25s, which is the masters in swimming. Um, but I've been swimming for the, the last 20 years competitively since I was seven. Um, I, I kind of train to mainly keep fit, you know, it's good health, um, keep up the lifestyle as well as obviously kind of the mental bit, you know, having that break from, from the four kids I mentioned about. Um, but also kind of having done it for so long, it, it does help me kind of scratch that competitive itch that I've got. Um, and I don't like to lose, so I kind of have to train to be able to, to keep winning. At the minute, it's probably training five times a week, two hours, um, mainly in the morning, so six to eight in the morning. Um, I'd much rather train in the morning than in the evening because after a hard day of work, I just want to sit down on the sofa, so I'd rather get up early. Um, the back of my peak, I was probably training about 20 hours in the pool um, and, and three hours in land, so about a whole day a week um, was dedicated just, just to swimming. Uh, so I train over in, in Woking in the pool in the park at the minute. I'd say I've got two. Um, I'd say the, the first one that comes to mind would be my first national title, which was back in 2019. Um, I was a bit of an underdog. The person that I was against um, was, was a fair amount better than me on paper. Um, he was having a bit of an off season, so I thought this was my chance to kind of pounce it and win it. And I knew that I was faster going out the first kind of length, and then he would come back at me in the second length, which he did. But I managed to hold him off and, and win by about a hundredth of a second. So it was, it was a very tight finish. Um, but when I saw that I'd, I'd won, I was you know, elated. Um, and then the second one was actually back in October, which was the first time I broke a British record. Um, I think it was part of the kind of Hope Church announcement, um, but that was part of kind of relay, some other boys that I trained with. Um, and first time breaking a British record was just, just a massive achievement to suit together. Again, we were underdogs in that one. Again, there was a, another team that we had to beat. We also broke the British record, but, but we managed to beat them. Um, and they brought in a, a load of ringers, so kind of people from all over the place that didn't train together. Um, and we were kind of worried that, that they were going to have this kind of elite team that we weren't be able to take down, but we kind of played together, managed to, to kind of work hard and, and win, which was Again, a very special moment for us all to share together. Yeah, I've probably got, I don't know, breaststroke is probably the one I'm best at. Um, you've got these things that kind of ranks you compared to the rest of the people in the world based on from the time. Breaststroke is the one that I'm kind of top at and it's the one I won the national title in. Um, probably prefer 100 metres, which is four lengths of a, kind of a spectrum sized pool or two lengths of an Olympic sized pool. Um, but I'm also pretty good at freestyle um, and individual medley, which is all, all four strokes. Um, so a bit versatile, but if I could have a preference, I'd probably be breaststroke or freestyle. We've got some good, good people coming this year. Um, I would say our, our men are really strong. Um, I think we, we won Three, three individual golds and a few relay golds at, at the kind of Tokyo Olympics a few years ago. I think obviously Adam PT um, was the kind of standout British star, but he might be taken down by a Chinese swimmer, so we'll see how that goes in, in Paris. But I think the one that's kind of guaranteed will be the men's four by 200 meter relay. That'll be a definite gold um, if you want to put some money on it. I think, that aside from obviously having to, you know, get up, and motivate myself to train, you know, most days, um, I think the bigger challenge I had was kind of back when I was a teenager. Um, I, I missed a qualifying time to a kind of major meet by less than, so one one hundredth of a second. So you couldn't even do that on a stopwatch, and it, and it really kind of physically and mentally kind of broke me. I've been training 
harder than I'd ever had up until that point to be able to kind of qualify. And missing out was, was a really hard hill for me to swallow, I would say. Even, even to now, I wouldn't say I'm training anywhere near as hard as I was back then. And so I haven't even got over it now, um, over 12 years later. But it, it, was, it was definitely a, a big kind of learning curve for me to actually you know, realize the importance of this in the, in the grander scheme of things. Um, but so I, I managed to then do it when I was a bit older. So I kind of you know, reset myself. And even though I haven't obviously trained as hard as I said, I've managed to make those achievements that, that I wanted to at a later stage. Uh, I would say it's, it's as, a, as a master, um, my kind of aim is to become the master world champion. I think if I'd gone to the Doha um, world champs back in February, I would have got a silver. Um, I think there's some European games going on at the minute for the Masters and I would have won that, which would be nice to have gone. Um, so, so that's the kind of aim that, that I'm kind of looking for. I'm breaking some more British, European and possibly world records. We'll see how it goes.